Hi, I'm Brian Vance from SportBikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the Arctiva Comp 7 Insulated Snowmobile Jacket. I know I just said snowmobile, didn't I? All new for 2012, we are getting into the snow business. Myself and my family have been riding sleds for years, and we think this is a nice natural fit to complement our business through the cooler months of the year. The line that we decided to begin with was Arctiva. Arctiva is a great line, it's really evolved over the years. It's designed and developed in snowmobile country by snowmobiles. The guys who designed this stuff have been riding sleds from like 1970 all the way up to current. They use racers for development as well. They also have some help from their design team. This is a parts and limited company, right? So they have some help from the Icon design team and that gets them some great fabrics, great styling, great fit. You bring that all together and you have some really amazing snowmobile gear. Let's focus now on this Comp 7 insulated jacket. The first thing I want to tell you is it is 100% waterproof. It is also a breathable fabric. What that means is the perspiration from your body typically comes out as a vapor. This will allow that to escape. Snowmobiling can be a real athletic activity. When you're out, you're riding hard and you're sweating a lot, it can get to a point where you know that breathability itself is not enough. So what they've done with this particular jacket is we have a built-in ventilation system. We have an intake vent here in the shoulder area. You can see how that scoop kind of pops up when I open that up. We have a vent here in the chest area. That's going to be a mirror image on both the right and the left. There's also an exhaust vent on the back of the jacket. So when you're out there, you're riding the trails hard and aggressive. Maybe you're doing some mountain riding, you start to sweat, okay? This allows the jacket to move that moisture and that heat energy out and away from your body. Something you can do to really help that is to wear a moisture wicking base layer. I have one on now. We have great stuff from Cycle Skins, from Arteva, from Alpine Stars. A lot of great choices there and they can make a huge difference and how comfortable and enjoyable your day is. Let's talk a little bit about sizing. I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, about 200 pounds with a somewhat athletic build. I have on a size large in the Comp 7 jacket right now. Underneath the jacket, I'm also wearing my old tech vest from when I used to race snowcross. The jacket size a little bit to the generous side, which is really what you want with snowmobiling. Like I said, once again, athletic activity you need to be able to move in this stuff and you also have to have the flexibility to add and remove base layering. They've done a great job with their sizing. They've really done their homework over the years. The size chart works very nicely. Use that. If you know you're normally large, pull the trigger on a large. You're going to get a good, comfortable fit the first time out of the gate. Let's talk some more feature and benefit. I'm going to take the jacket off, give you a high level look once I have the jacket off. The cuff, we have an internal knitted cuff for comfort, right? Everywhere the jacket touches your body, there's going to be a comfort fabric. For example, we've got a nice fleece here around the cuff. Velcro adjustable. Visibility, we have reflectives basically at 360 degrees on this jacket. It's important. In snowmobiling, especially when you're out riding, the dusk, the nighttime, the headlights hit this stuff, it pops. It's a big safety feature, very important. The materials used on this jacket, they have a great hand, super comfortable, not only waterproof, not only breathable, but comfortable. I can remember when I started riding snowmobiles as a youth, the stuff, it, it definitely needed to evolve, there was no doubt. As it got cold out, the stuff was super cumbersome, clunky, it was heavy, it made all kinds of incredible noises when you moved around in it. This is nothing like that. It feels great, it moves great, it's super lightweight. It's been tested down to 40 degrees below zero. Everyone has a different tolerance for cold, for temperature, so kind of gauge that with your own internal thermostat, but it has been tested by the folks who designed it down to that cool of a temperature. Stay tuned, we're gonna get the jacket off because there's more features, more benefits, and we wanna take a look and really focus on those. All right, here we go, a close-up look at the Arctiva Comp 7 insulated jacket. Start here at the sleeve. The cuff is really important. Got this nice dual cuff 
knitted cuff here, right? It fits snug, but not too snug where it's going to cut off any circulation. This is really going to work to keep you warm. Adjustable cuff here using Velcro. Notice how nicely this pleats up. It pleats up very clean. You can put a gauntlet glove over this very easily. Any area where this is going to touch your skin, it's got this nice rolled fleece. Super comfortable. Reflective here on the sleeve. Got a little bit of padding and quilting here in the elbow area. Got a nice storage pocket here in the left sleeve. More reflectives here above the elbow. Zippered ventilation. Here's an intake vent. Note that's a waterproof zipper that's being used there. Chest vent. This one is actually a two way vent. This is very large. Okay, it uses a two way zipper all the way from the chest to the back of the jacket. You're also able to zip it from the other direction forward. All right, if you don't want a lot coming in, but you could use a little bit of exhaust here in the back, you can do that. You can tailor this to your requirements. Also, a waterproof zipper. Zippered storage pocket here, both sides of the jacket. Fleece lined, great hand warmer pocket. Super comfortable interior. Here's more reflective on the front of the jacket. More reflective up here by the collar. All the logos that you see, we've got some overlay along with some embroidering. I believe I showed you this earlier. This is going to allow you to clip the tether for your machine if your machine is equipped with one right here onto the jacket so you don't lose it. Essentially we've got mirror image. Everything I showed you on the left side is going to carry over to the right side of the jacket. Our Tiva logo, overlay, embroidering. Here is a cool feature they built into this jacket. First off, let me tell you that this collar is very comfortable. I really liked the way it felt. The height was just right. The fit was nice. We've got a nice rolled, looks like a neoprene or an airprene here at the top pretty much. Fleece lined. And we also have an adjuster in the back, shock cord style. So as the elements change, the conditions change, if you want to tighten this up to seal it up, just go ahead and give a nice tug. You can see that is going to change the overall circumference of this collar. Remember, because it's nice and comfort lined, it's going to feel good against the skin. Back of the jacket, more reflectives up here on the shoulders, down here at the base of the jacket. And here is the exhaust vent that we spoke of. Large exhaust vent, waterproof zipper, and this is really key. In order for the ventilation system to be truly effective, you have to have a place for the air that's brought in the front to escape out the back. It circulates inside the jacket, drives it out the back, and it works well. And remember, stack on your moisture wicking base layer. Several options here. I promise it will change your day. It will be worth every penny you spent on it. Inside the jacket, zipper storage pocket here, left breast. There's a pass through for cabling, headphones, communicator. Zippered storage pocket here, right side. We have an attachment system that will allow you to attach this to the Comp 7 pants to keep the jacket overlapping the pants. And please note that we also have a shock cord style waist adjuster here. So as the conditions change, you can seal this up if you need to, quick release style, like so. Insulation, we're using in the chest about 180 gram thickness. Arms, back, about 140. Like I said, tested to 40 degrees below zero. Once again, qualify that with your own internal thermostat. We're all different. Some of us have a real hard time with the cold. If you're one of those folks, probably not going to be out there to negative 40, even in this. So we're all a little bit different in that area. Let's tidy this up. What do I think of this? I really like the whole Comp 7 insulated and even the, the non-insulated shell series a lot for my taste and my riding style. I actually intend to ride this year in Comp 7 insulated top and bottom. I love the fabric. I love the design. I love the fit. I think it provides a lot of great quality and value. And remember, you've got a really good company behind it too. If you have any warranty issues, it's a company that's going to be there to support you with that. Good quality stuff. We recommend it. Brian Vann, SportBikeTrackGear.com.